down for a quick fish. It's a bit blowy, it's coming down the beach here. We've got a north, northeaster blowing, it's pretty hard. It's only sunrise too, it's a bit disappointing. I thought I'd wear the moon boot just to get down here, just to save my ankle. Anyway, welcome to the video. I'm gonna get a quick bait in. That's not ideal. Shock and side current to the right by the look of it, but I'll see if I can hold bottom. Wow, have a look at this. It's really eroding the, the sand. A bit of a cliff face here, that's alright, I'll fish from up on the hill here. I don't think I'm going to hold bottom actually. Yeah, that was way too rough guys. I'm not that keen. <laughs> A few people have been asking me what surf rigs I use down there. I, um, I tie my own. So, for the sake of putting up a video, I'll do a bit of a surf rig talk. Later today I'm going to do a cook up with some of that gummy I caught a couple of weeks ago. So uh, I'll tack that on the end. So I'll roll that for you now. So basically 30 pound line I use for the main leader and 20 pound for the droppers. So I'm just going to cut about a metre of the 30 pound line. That's about a metre there. Roughly. Doesn't have to be exact. Just cut that off. Get that ready there, and then I'm going to cut two lengths of about a foot, about a foot long, probably a bit more, foot and a half. Yeah, that should be right. So two lengths at about a foot and a half. So I've got two lengths of 20 pound and one length of 30 pound, about a metre long. Okay, so take your metre long leader and come down, I don't know, once again, about a foot and a half. Get one of your droppers and start that there. Have them running parallel. And then I just tie, form a loop. And then I just take that through the loop once twice, three times, and four times through the loop. And then you just pull that tight, wet your knot, and then you pull that tight. And then you come along your leader, probably the same distance again, probably about a foot, foot and a half. And you start your next dropper. Have it running the same direction. Let's start that there and have it going in the same direction that way. And then form your loop again. And same deal. Run it through four times. Pull it tight, wet your knot. and pull it down tight, nice and tight. Okay, so now you can see this end, you tie your swivel. I found because the dropper comes up, it tends to keep it away from the main line. And I found I get way fewer tangles. It really doesn't tangle much at all. I just love that design. Same there, they come upwards. Trim up these tag ends. So it's nice and neat. So there you have it. Swivel on there, you got one dropper there, two there, obviously your hooks go on the end, and you've got a nice length here, and all I do here is just tie a loop. Just a loop like that, and you can feed your sinker on, 
and you can change your, your sinker as you, as you like. Once again, tag in, cut that off. Sinker on there, you got two hooks and a swivel at the top. So there you go, that's how I do my surf rigs. That's just a short video. I'm gonna have a cook up on some of that uh, gummy I caught the other week. Uh, just a very basic recipe, this one. Hang around, we'll see how it turns out. Cheers, guys. Okay, lovely piece of flake I just got out of the freezer. Well, a little while ago now, it's sort of halfway thawed out. Leave it in the bag and marinate it in some olive oil. Probably just about a tablespoon of olive oil and just a little bit of garlic. Add half a teaspoon of garlic in there and just give that a good mix. And that can sit in there until I'm ready to cook it. This is going to be just a simple pan fried. No deep frying, no batter, no nothing. Just a little bit of garlic, olive oil and um, We'll see how that goes. Sprig of rosemary, little spring onion. I've um, parboiled this sliced potato, only for about four or five minutes. So they're nearly cooked. Just a little drizzle of oil, olive oil. Put the sprig of rosemary on top and we'll just and a couple of knobs of butter on either end that'll melt through nicely there you go and I'm just going to do that in the fry pan <laughs> All right, this is that gummy I caught the other week. Very basic, just olive oil, as you saw, olive oil, garlic, just marinated it for a while and then just pan fried it, just having it with these spuds and a little broccolini. So uh, here we go, let's try it. That's better than deep fried. That is so good. That's really nice fish, that. It's nothing to it. Salt and pepper and garlic is pretty much the only flavoring. Oh, and butter. Butter helps everything. Oh, that's delightful. Mmm, mm, that's so good. All right, guys, I'm going to go and devour this. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.